Hi, welcome to Tales Beyond the Grave. Now we're here in St Mary's Cemetery uh, in Wardley, uh, between Swinton and Morton. And we're here today just to show you around some of these uh, fantastic monumental graves which are in this cemetery. And also just behind me uh, is the grave of a famous Sir Salford's son, uh, the name of Joe Gladwin, who appeared in various sitcoms in the 60s, 70s and 80s. You'll remember, if you Google him, have a look at Joe, you'll remember him. You might remember him as Wally Batter in uh, Last at Summer Wine. Well, I'm going to take you down here and I'll show you some fantastic monumental graves in this cemetery. Uh, Celtic crosses and um, some fantastic um, crucifixes and there's some great graves in here. So let's go and show you where they are. So we're just going to run you down through this column of stones down here. Now in this cemetery there's a lot of um, priests and nuns buried in this cemetery. I'm just going to walk down this it's not like avenue of stones really and monuments and we're over uh, in Walkden and the name derives from the old English uh, word of Denu which means a valley belonging to a man possibly called uh, Walesa uh, so that's where the name Walkden derives from they reckon um, and since records started the area around about 1246 a Roman road that uh, passes through the area which is now the A6 that Roman road run from Mamusium which is Manchester over to um, Ribchester um, up near Preston but look at these monumental graves here I'm going to take you around and show you some of these they're well worth looking at these graves um, now in 1313, a dispute over uh, land, a jury decided that Wharton, Wharton was too small to be known as a hamlet and too small to be known as a town. Uh, and it was just known as a place near Farmworth. That's all they, they knew it as back then. Um, and Wharton Moor was the subject of a parliamentary enclosure at that the uh, Duke of Bridgewater was the biggest landowner at the time and he owned all the coal mines and the canals and it was based around coal and cotton and textiles Wharton that was the main source of employment around here and Lord Bridgewater built the canals when his astronomical prices uh, to ship his coal to ports like Liverpool um, he decided to build the Bridgewater Canal and do it himself now locally there's a park called Parfold Park um, just up the road from here and um, there's a one ton glacial limestone boulder and that can be found inside the park. Now that rock is linked to the Lake District or southwest of Scotland and it's thought that um, it was transported by melting ice all the way from the south of southwest of Scotland down to Parfold Park in Walkden. Now that happened around about 18,000 years ago. Uh, and it slid all its way down to Parfold and found its way there and this as you can see in front of me is St John um, a little monument to St John and beside me you can see the stones there's lichens on the stones now but all these stones either side are reverends if you can see that most of them are dedicated to um, priests around the Greater Manchester, Lancashire um, area, all being overlooked by St John. Now just in front of me there, as you can see, is um, sort of like a a monument it was once a water fountain I believe very lovely peaceful tranquil water fountain it's no longer in use and I can't remember it being in use so it must be going back some time if you think of it but can you imagine the tranquility of that running water while you come to pay your respect to your loved ones it must have sounded absolutely peaceful in here as it does it's a nice peaceful cemetery And wouldn't it, wouldn't it be nice to get that done again? 
and get it running. Peaceful little place, little oasis in the middle of the cemetery where you can reflect on your thoughts. It'd be so nice to have that up and running again. I'm just going to show you some of the absolutely stunning uh, monuments which can be found in this graveyard. And if ever you're here, come up to St Mary. It's on the main uh, bus route if you've got to get a bus. It's not far from the train station. Um, or if you come by car, there's plenty of parking spaces here too. And it's well worth a walk around the cemetery for the interesting stones that you may find. And as you find yourself wandering amongst the stones, um, you seem to pass one fantastic one, then you, you, you bump into another one, there's some great. Uh, and you give a lot of credit to the stonemasons. But don't forget the stonemasons who made these uh, stones, would have made them with their hands and the tools and not machines as we have today. All hand carved. So just through the woods there, as you can see, um, hidden from view is Wardley Hall and it's a grade one listed medieval manor, which was once moulted and around uh, 1292 it once stood there and it's now there and it's cu the current hall dates back from about 1500 and the skull of St Ambrose Barlow, one of the four masters of England, is preserved in an alcove at the top of the main staircase there. He was hung, drawn and quartered. Uh, in 1641 for confession, uh, confessing to be a Catholic priest. Today it's the official residence of the Roman Catholic um, Bishop of Salford. And I'm just gonna walk you down uh, this little path here. I'm gonna show you some more monumental graves. Again, we're walking down this, which is an aven another avenue of monuments, just to our left and to our right too. I'll walk down, I'll show you the ones on the left and then I'll show you the ones on the right coming back up but if ever you want to walk through this cemetery please have a good walk round and a good spend a couple of hours here uh, because there's some graves you'll walk past and miss and um, they're well worth what, uh, coming to look at because they're absolutely fantastic um, again um, dedicated, dedicated to the stonemasons of the times really what work with the hands and tools and back up again we go towards the water fountain celtic crosses galore as well here i do like a celtic cross i must admit i'm going to take you to see one in particular that i like and the one i like in particular is this one nice white celtic cross
So um, on my way out now, and I'm just going to show you a grave just over here. And it's someone you might know, uh, goes by the name of Joe Gladwin. And he was famous uh, in the 70s, 60s, 70s and 80s uh, on TV, um, playing um, various characters, uh, most notably uh, Nearest and Dearest, um, Last of the Summer Wine, and uh, uh, programmes like that. You'll recognise him. His name's Joe Gladwin, Salford born, and I'm going to take you to his grave now. So I'm going to end today's uh, walk around St Mary's Cemetery. And this is the grave of Joe Gladwin, Salford born. Uh, famous for his role as Stan in Nearest and Dearest, uh, as Fred Jackson in Coronation Street, and fondly remembered as Wally Batter in Last of the Summer Wine. Uh, now, Joe was born at 44 Tatton Street in Odsall, the son of a coal merchant. And um, he married his wife, Lily Ann, at Mount Carmel Church in 1933. He was appointed Papal Knight of the Order of St. Gregory for his endless charity work, which went under the radar. Not a lot of people know, knew that Joe um, did a lot of charity work. And he also uh, performed for the troops uh, concert party in World War II, in hospitals and also in the field as well. And he was also appeared in quite a lot of TV programmes you never knew, like Dixon and Doc Green, uh, Zed Cars, Nearest and Dearest, obviously, uh, the fictitious, fictitious um, pickle factory with Hilda Baker, who uh, come from Farnworth just up the road. And he also appeared in quite a few films such as Yanks, Charlie Bubbles, Escaped, uh, The Dark as well. And Joe died on the 11th of March 1987 in Crumsall Hospital. Um, from bronchi bronchial cancer uh, which resulted in bronchial pneumonia complications so just say um, pay me respect to Joe every time I come to this cemetery I pay me respects on the way out so thanks for entertaining us Joe so uh, that's about it really uh, thanks for watching our little mooch around St Mary's Catholic Cemetery over here in uh, Wharton or Wardley just on the borders of uh, Worsley and Walkden. Um As I say, uh, it's a fantastic cemetery. If you're looking for nice ornamental, uh, monumental um, stones to come and have a look at, come here. It's wor well worth having a walk around the cemetery. Uh, you get lost uh, in here because of the, the time. You, you're just walking about looking at each individual stone. There's some great ones here. Like I say, um, this has been for um, Tales Beyond the Grave. And um, just to say, if you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, it does help if you subscribe. It means we can go out and do um, more videos like this. Um, subscribe, give it a like, give it a share if you want. It doesn't matter if you don't want to, but if you do, it all helps towards um, coming out and filming these, which I like to do. So I'm going to say thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you on the next one, which is, mm, I don't know where I'm going, but... Um, I'll see you on the next one anyway, so bye for now. See ya